good evening everyone so today we are going to see about the estimation of batch size required for scale up depending upon the power per unit volume so there can be multiple scale up factors so today we are going to see or we are going to estimate the batch size depending upon only the power per unit volume and for that first of all i would like to define the scenario and the scenario is going to be a batch reaction where we are going to charge all the raw materials into the reactor and then we need to raise the reaction mass temperature up to 80 degrees followed by maintenance of 12 hours and if the reaction complies then we need to proceed with our cooling where we are going to isolate the product and then we are going to filter the product tarty so this is a simple process and for this we are going to scale up and we need to identify the batch size so first of all we should make a note of all the parameters so the first parameter is the batch size and the section is units of measurement and the next one is the reactor capacity this is in KL and maximum reaction mass volume it doesn't have any units and the next one is the reaction mass volumes so maximum reaction mass volumes in the sense so how many times to the batch size and this is going to be what exactly we have and the next one is the occupancy then coming to the reaction mass properties that is the density of reaction mass and the units are going to be percentage and this is going to be in kg per meter cube and once it is done we have to look, make a look at the reactor dimensions and the reactor inner diameter this is going to be in meter and the L by D ratio the next thing is reactor height this is also in meters and what type of agitator is being used the next one is sweep diameter and the next one is the operating speed of the agitator this is going to be in meters and this is going to be an rpm and now let's make a look at this existing and proposed so the proposed case is going to be the scale so first thing is i'll mention about these details so i am currently executing 100 kg batch size and the reactor capacity is 1 kg the maximum reaction volumes is 7 so that means 7 times to the batch size and I will be dividing this with 1000 to convert this into liters so sorry kiloliters so this is going to be 0.7 and coming to reactor occupancy that means total reaction mass volume divided by the reactor capacity and the density of the reaction mass let's say it's 1000 kg per meter cube and reactor diameter is let's say it's 0.95 and L by D ratio I'll be considering as 1.25 so reactor height this is going to be diameter multiplied with the L by D ratio and the next one is the agitator so I'll be taking it as anchor and coming to the sweep diameter so let's say this is 80% with respect to the inner diameter so I'll be multiplying 0.8 and the operating RPM that I have identified is 60 here and coming to proposed size I mean proposed case so I want to evaluate this parameter like the batch size and for an instance I'll be considering it as 100 and the reactor capacity which is available is 3 kL the maximum remain, uh, reaction mass volumes remains same and the next one is the reaction mass volume so this is also going to be same why because I have taken 100 kg input and coming to occupancy so this is 23 percent occupancy and the reaction mass density this is same and reactor diameter let's say this is 1.35 meter and L by D ratio I'll take it as 1.2 times and the reactor height can be calculated and this is the same agitator to maintain similar symmetry I have selected anchor only and I have maintained almost 80 percent of the reactor diameter like the sweep diameter is going to be 80 percent to reactor diameter so it is 1.08 and coming to operating rpm i found the maximum rpm as 48 in this case now we want to define 
this particular batch size which is highlighted in blue and now we have to calculate the power consumed and for that we should understand what is the power number in this case the agitators that are being deployed is going to be anchors and if you are able to see the operating speed so these are going to be the maximum rpms that means so definitely these should be in turbulent zone so i will be taking the fixed as fixed power numbers for the agitators so this is 0.6 per anchor why because these are working in turbulent zone the next one is the power consumed and for an instance i'll put this units of measurement as plan i'll try to calculate it later first of all let's try to calculate this value this is going to be power number multiplied with the density of reaction mass multiplied with agitated power sorry agitated diameter to the power 5 so this is going to be sorry not agitated diameter it's operating rpm to the power 3 so this is operating rpm divided with 60 to convert this rpm into rps to the power 3 and then the sweep diameter to the power 5 so we found this around 152.13 and i'll be clicking on control plus r to get the same formula here so it is almost 451.38 and coming to units the formula that i have used is power equals to np into rho into nq into d power 5 so np it's a power number it don't have any units and coming to rho this is kg per meter cube and the next one is n power 3 that is this is going to be 1 divided by second cube and finally this is meter to the power 5 and here if you are able to see this here we got meter cube and this meter cube is going to uh, divide this meter to the power 5 this is going to be like kg meter square divided with second cube and I can rewrite this as kg meter square to the power second square into second so this kg meter square per second square is nothing but joule so it is going to be joule per second joule per second and also it can be rewritten as watts 1 watt equals to 1 joule per second and now I will be converting this into kilowatts by dividing with 1000 Okay, and then I am going to calculate the power per unit volume. So basically, power per unit volume is going to be a uh, virtual factor. That means the amount of energy that is being utilized or dissipated towards the reaction mass should be same in both the cases. That is the small, I mean the small batch size as well as the larger batch size. So we are going to match this considering the amount of energy that is being transferred to one unit volume of mass is going to be same and this is going to be kilowatt per meter cube and I will be dividing this kilowatts with the reaction mass volume in meter cube so this is 0 0.217 so this is 0 0.64 here in this case the power per unit volume is slightly high and to reduce this what we have can do is we can increase the reaction mass volume so that automatically the power per unit volume will get lower so here in this case I will take it as 200 now see it is 0.32 so it came close and again I will try to take 250 here in this case I came somewhat nearby and I will take it as 260 now it is 0.25 and I'll take it as 300 so almost say to match it exactly so I'll be taking 290 okay in this case both are matched so you can take in the range of 290 to 300 so it can be the proposed batch size okay so this is how we are going to estimate the batch size requirement depending upon the power per unit volume
hope the calculation is clear for all and if you have still any i mean if you have any queries in this post still so you can write us at pharma calc 823 at the rate and if you like our video please subscribe to the content subscribe to our channel and also like the content you can share the videos with your dear ones thanks for watching the video